Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to be walking around a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. This one here has a date code correct 340 under the hood. Also has a Dana 60 rear end. I have close to 100 detailed pictures of this ride at maplemotors.com. If you're looking for shipping, you need to get this car across the country, we have that available. If you need financing, we have three different companies to choose from. It's all at maplemotors.com. You can also check out any of our inventory at that website as well. We update every Monday with new cars. We're gonna get started here. Any flaws that I find, I will point out. That's why I do these videos. I also do a test drive video we just got done doing, and this car right here drives awesome. So definitely check that out. We're gonna get started here. I'm gonna start up front. I like going down the lower portions, looking for any kind of rust or any issues in the body that I can see. The front end on this thing looks great. It's an awesome shape. Coming down the lower body, got decent tires. You got the flaps hanging out there. Got some cotton on there from the wash job, I assume. We picked up a little bit of dirt from the test drive just then. Luckily, it's not raining today. That door seems like it's hanging just a little bit at the bottom, the old hinges. Coming up over the fender in the back. Picked up some more dirt from the road here. That is just dirt and it all wipes off. A couple little dings in the flap there. Where they caught the rocks and saved the fender. Coming back to midsection. Really clean on this car. Do have a slight chip right there in the middle. Anything that I see, I am letting you know, I promise. That's some wax. Coming down the top section. Double checking some areas. Trim is really clean all around the window. Hood is in awesome shape. We'll be laying it down towards the end of the video. Looking across the roof. Nice and clean. Back window, the same thing. Trunk lid looks great. And I tell you what, so uh, most of the Mopars that I'm used to, they drive like boxes. I know a lot of people refer to that. This one doesn't. Uh, something they've done to make it drive really well. Just check that test drive video out and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Weather stripping around the trunk looks pretty good. They didn't put a new mat back here. You can tell it's old, brittle. We'll try to be careful with it. Because I want to look under it. Pretty solid. Let's check this side. You can tell this has already been broken, so. Old brittle mat. Package tray. Solid, clean, actually shiny. Pretty good shape. Trunk lid, same thing. They got it nice and clean where the tail lights go in. Let's go ahead and shut this down. See how easy it comes down here. And it's sealed. Dual exhaust out the back. Fairly new rear bumper. It does have a scratch right in the middle. Coming over the trunk lid. Very light scuff there, but I think that, I think it's on top of the paint. And sometimes you can feel the bump. I don't feel the bump. A lot of times you can get some wax and that'll come right out. It's very, very light. Coming down this side, we're gonna hit the lower section, come back to midsection and run the top. Then we'll get on that interior and start her up. See, we picked up some grime from the road coming over the fender. It looks pretty good. Back tires have plenty of tread. Coming down this lower section, this door does not hang. It's nice and smooth with the body. Got some more dirt from the road from that test drive. 
Probably should have done this video before it, but you know what? I was excited about driving this one. Light scratch on that fender, it will buff out. Coming back to mid section, there's not too many flaws on this one. Pretty solid car. You see where the door handle is, some of the paint chipped on the inside. There is a crack right here. And you have a touch up mark right there in the jam. Coming over the top portion of the car, nice and clean. You can see there's some spots right there in that crack. Went up over the roof here. And the wind is nice and clean. All the trim's been redone. You got a new mirror here. You got a new trim around your front windshield. And down that front fender is nice and clean. Okay, guys, we made it all the way around this car. We're going to open it up check the interior out and get her started and then i'll give you some undercarriage shots and we'll conclude this video interior on this car is in great shape you can see the seats nicely clean carpet's been redone go ahead and place your bets do you think the horn works that's a little game we like to play on this channel back seat looks good package trays clean headliner looks great checking out the door panel got a little dust down here need to wipe that off Weather stripping looks good around the jam. Checking the bottoms of the doors. Pretty solid. Jams are solid, clean. Go ahead and check this out. Looking across the dash, it's not busted up. A little dusty. Let's see if I got the right key in here. Keep doing that. There's two keys for it. Car starts up, starts up easy, gas gauge works. Most of all the gauges are working, but I do not trust that temperature gauge. I would definitely upgrade with an aftermarket one. Clock does not work, tack works. Showing, uh, sorry about that, 33,000 miles on the dash. I cannot stand behind that. This is a 70 model. Windshield wipers do work. Lower motor coming on. Do not have AC on this car, but the radio jams. How about that? What do you think? Think that horn works? It doesn't on this car. It's not hooked up. But you can always rev the motor. And it sounds great. Deck code correct. 340. They did that rack. <laughs> Pretty good idea there. You don't have to wrap the whole thing. This side just got plenty of clearance, so. Motor's pretty quiet, power steering on this one. And you got some chrome goodies on the motor. Under the hood looks pretty good. Let's see how it shuts down. Comes down nice and easy. I'm just barely touching it. And it locks. You also got safety hood pins. It lines up well. And looking for some flaws on the hood here. Sometimes you can catch the edges. These edges look pretty good. A little piece of dirt. Oh, catch the edge. You see the little chip on the edge? It's probably where they were trying to line the hood up. Okay. We made it all the way around this ride. We're going to do some undercarriage shots and conclude this video. I appreciate y'all watching. You want to see detailed pictures? Go to maplemotors.com. You want to see a test drive and a lit up undercarriage shot? Wait till the last 30 seconds of this video and click that link. All right, let's look under this car.
right, guys. MapleMotors.com is where you're going to find all of our inventory, and we update that every Monday. If you need shipping or finance options, we have that available. Three different companies to choose from, so be sure to go check that out. All of our inventory is updated on Mondays. That way you can see all the fresh new cars coming on the lot. Test drive video is located the last 30 seconds of this one, or just type in 1970 Plymouth Cuda Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar. Two videos will pop up. You'll see some previous inventory sometimes. And if you still can't find the video, all that information plus the stock number, which is located on my website, or I'll put it in the video here, obviously. So appreciate y'all watching. See you next time.